Forget any federal gas tax hike. Uranium processing costs billions and the first 3D printed cement structure. That and more on Construction News Tracker brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Congress has no stomach for raising the federal gas tax. That from the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee Chair Bill Schuster in recent days. As the rhetoric heats up toward a funding solution to the present MAP-21 bill that expires May 31st, just weeks from now, all the construction industry players are lining up to encourage a long-term plan. At a recent AASHTO, American Association of State Highway Transportation Officials briefing, Schuster called for a broad new process to pay for infrastructure down the road. It needs to be fiscally responsible. We will not be able to pass a transportation bill in this Congress that isn't fiscally responsible, that isn't paid for. And uh, I think there are, there are solutions out there. We're also going to make sure that uh, we try to get Washington out of your way so that you can do these projects quicker, faster, and less expensive. Uh, we did a lot of good work in MAP 21. Some of that has not uh, been implemented, so we're watching very closely. But there's still more we can do there to encourage, uh, again, the, you folks to move as fast as you can and, and get the federal government uh, out, of your, out of your way. And so the beat goes on, with no clear outcome just weeks now from deadline. Not much has been reported on the Federal Department of Energy Y-12 National Security Complex near Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Well, likely it's because the site of the nation's uranium processing facility. But site readiness is nearly complete with new roads, bridges, and initial infrastructure to support, listen to this, a $6.5 billion complex that will replace World War II era buildings over a five-mile site. Energy Department estimates reveal a 90% completion by 2017 with the Oak Ridge complex fully finished by 2025. UC Berkeley College of Environmental Design has completed the first 3D printed cement structure. Bloom, as it's called, is a freestanding pavilion with undulating walls made of hundreds of floral bricks. It stands 9 feet tall and the footprint is 12 feet by 12 feet. The powder-based 3D cement structure was printed using a new type of iron oxide-free Portland cement polymer formulation developed by the U.S. Berkeley research team. The claim is that this polymer mix creates a strong, lightweight product that results in a low-cost, speedy production effort. Bloom is headed on a worldwide exhibition tour that is certain to attract construction pros. Must be plenty of money made from selling toothpaste and health products because Procter & Gamble is spending $300 million to build a new R&D center at Mason, Ohio, near Cincinnati. M&W Group of Waterfleet, New York, and Hunt Construction of Indianapolis are the general contractors partnered for the 500,000-square-foot building, with some costs being shared by local entities. When completed, the new building will house nearly 1,200 employees and fortify an existing P&G complex that already employs 2,300. A not-so-secret super construction site at Cupertino, California has residents intrigued. A thousand construction workers are at the site and already one and a half million tons of concrete has been poured for the new Apple Donut Complex. It's a mile in circumference and will be four stories tall with a complete solar layer atop when finished. The panels are expected to fully power the entire building. What's unique is the green building features with 80% open space. It's the trees, rolling hills, and walking trails that has neighbors intrigued, as most of it will be inside that donut ring. Wrapping up everything is susceptible to change. Don't fear it. Embrace it. After all, you can't go back. But there's always a new chapter of life just waiting to be written. This is Construction News Tracker, looking over the industry that makes the world a better place. Brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. We're on Facebook at forward slash 4constructionpros and Twitter, 
using hashtag construction news and can be shared with friends or leave us a comment as the streaming web never ends. Yeah.